Puerta of Colombia, Babek and Kellerman of the Czech Republic, Jurczyk from Germany, Awang from Malaysia. Awang has won the bronze medal in the Kirin each of the last two years at the World Championships. Can he take advantage of this well, reprieve and this opportunity? He's uh, possibly the most exciting rider to watch, shall we say. Provides entertainment, always looking for an opportunity. Not physically the best, but uh, thinks the fastest. Yeah, and any... somehow found his way into this final. And if anyone leaves uh, the smallest of gaps, he'll be in it like a flash. Here comes the motorbike. And the World Championship Kirin final is just a couple of seconds away. Here we go. Can they get themselves away as they uh, filter into the line in the uh, drawn order, which they have to maintain. And we mentioned that you're not allowed to overlap the mount of, uh, the motorbike rather before it pulls off with three laps to go, and that means front wheel and front wheel. You can't pass it, but equally you can't be too far away because certainly when it was two and a half laps, riders used to like to lay off so they could run at the motorbike and be going maximum speed so they wouldn't get swamped when it swung off. Uh, but they're not allowed to be further than 10 meters away from it so highly controlled for the first half of this race and then it's all over to them and the pace slowly increasing on the motorbike as the laps go by 30 to 50 kilometers an hour at its peak your chick from germany on the front little gap back to fabian puerta all in white of colombia in the yellow it is awang of malaysia trying to repeat the tactics of the previous round that is a lot of room being given and the, the two Czech riders Babek is the one at the back at the moment no Babek just uh, moving further forward here as the later. sprint now starts later coming around the outside doesn't want to get caught on the shoulder so going early to get himself into position he'd be happy to have someone in front of him but equally, he's quite keen to stay out of trouble and just keep winding it up. He's certainly got the form. A little bit of bumping there. About a quarter of a lap ago involving Babek and Puerta as they take the bell of Fabian Puerta from Colombia and Awan trying to go around the outside. And Glaitzer's boxed in a little bit on the inside. Has he got the pace to come back? And Awan really fancies it. And it's opening up now for the Malaysian rider. And the crowd are on their feet as he's all Awan has won it. And he pulls the wheelie over the line. What a ride! He's won that in style. Awang is the world champion. Superb sprinting from the Malaysian. That was remarkable. Just after saying he's not physically the best, an excellent tactician, he blew them all away with his legs, and he didn't just win it. He absolutely wiped the floor with them there. And Glaitzer will have been the favourite for many people. I think he's out of the medals in fourth yeah, place. Yes. Puerta of Colombia taking the silver. Babek of the Czech Republic the bronze but what a moment for Malaysian cycling and for Azizul Awang well the medals continue to be spread widely around the nations which is great for the health of track cycling but what a ride from him I'd go as far as to say despite his experience in years in the sport that was his best performance ever to take that title well it absolutely was twice he has finished with a silver medal in the world championships in 2010 uh, in this event and in the match sprint in 2009 and as I mentioned at the start of the race he'd won the bronze medal in this race in each of the previous two world championships but he absolutely flew away it was as though he'd been fired from a gun there off the front of the pack and the in the very last lap when of course they are already going at what we think is full speed now down the back straight out of the saddle which is quite something in this race but he sensed you know I can do it here I believe I have the opportunity and he just found another gear and look at this even has the time to think about a flamboyant move for the cameras and that'll be on some front pages tomorrow I'm sure that's how you win with style top class rider been around for a long time yeah deservedly one really surprised by that one certainly an excellent tactician but uh, physically well it was a big deal it was a big deal when he won the bronze medal in the Olympic Games wasn't it in London and now uh, he's topped the lot here's the riders eye view and the two Czech riders left trailing in the wake 
And Gaita, I thought, uh, really out of it. faded there. Puerta, we expected to do a ride, but that was the camera on the back of uh, a Wang's bike there. And you could see the way he came around the long way, got over them in the back straight, which was important. And uh, by the time they hit the final bend, he was already free and clear and well, ready to celebrate. He's won a lot of races in his career, but I don't imagine he's won many Kieran races by a gap as large as that one. What a time to do it. And the fact that he's world champion just starts to sink in. The celebrations begin. As is all, Awang is the world champion. And there is huge celebration, not just in Malaysia and in, and in Hong Kong, but here in the studio, because Chris Hoy, you're thrilled for him. He's, well, he's such a popular guy, and he's been working so hard for so many years to get there. He's always silvers and bronzes and there or thereabouts. And it means so much to, to Malaysia. He is, he's the biggest sports star in Malaysia. And uh, when he got his bronze medal in, in Rio, I think he thought that was the pinnacle of his career. You see there Michael Hubner, four times world Kieran champion, congratulating him there from back in the 80s and the 90s. It's, it's great to see as a neutral, you know, obviously you want the Brits to win, but if you can't, then I think this is great for the sport. And he was, you know, you, at you this point, I said he was out of it. You said he's in trouble. He's in yeah. trouble here. And he, the old Awang would have gone up the inside, caused an absolute yeah, knocked him mayhem, away, but he was patient. <laughs> he found the gap there. And I think Glitzer was just too, too um, keen to get to the front early on. He wasted too much energy. Puerta faded here. And Awang, you see the kick there out the saddle, half a lap to go, phenomenal. And it's not his usual win by a whisker. He, he absolutely smoked them. And it shows you that you don't have to be a great, big, powerful nation with millions and millions of pounds invested in your cycling setup. You can do it as a smaller nation. Absolutely. The bikes, there's, there's very little difference between the bikes. Even the clothing, there's very much, uh, very little difference between them. It's about, you know, the, the training. It's about the, your approach, the people around you supporting you. And he's got a great small group there. John Beasley, who's actually Australian. I know Scott Gardner, he used to be part of the British setup. They've been 